I wanted to talk real quickly about projecting uh, solids in in two point perspective. Um, I mentioned before that you could that you could project like a a triangular sort of prism off this rectangle. So what I want to do draw out my rectangle <coughs> and then pick an intersection point uh, for my triangle. Say it's at a quarter and draw it along this sort of uh, this sort of plane so that I know uh, I'll have some place um, so one of the lines that's uh, in this uh, in this rectangle is is part of the triangle you wouldn't want to draw it like like this where um, the triangle intersects like that you could it would just be a little more difficult um, so to uh, make this a little easier we're, we're gonna deal with that sort of uh, thing so all you're gonna do again simply just uh, start with a plane just like everything else um, so to make this interesting uh, I want to be able to see at least two sides of this triangle, so I have to decide which, how this is going to be oriented. If I want the uh, this part of the triangle here, 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 or here. Um, so I'm thinking that it would be nice if it um, uh, so if it's at the quarter. I know that I'm only going to see one plane, right? Uh, so I think I'm going to put this point here, right? So I know that this is approximately at the quarter, we're going to assume. So, so I'm going to do my X method and just uh, find a quarter real quick. So, I found a quarter, boom, it's right there. So I'm going to draw this triangle out on here. So really what I'm just doing is translating this, uh, this um, rectangle with a triangle in it from uh, head-on geometrical into two-point perspective. Um, so now all I have to do to make this a solid is pretty easy. It's going to be like, uh, I'm actually going to keep it below the horizon line because I think that'll be pretty funny. So all I have to do is uh, drop a bunch of verticals right? So I know that this is going to go and recede towards the horizon line, right? Because I've got that plane. But then huh, here, uh, I have to actually draw the uh, this actual cube out so that I know where this solid ends. Does that make sense? So you can see that this uh, this didn't get dropped properly. So now I know that I can draw the top of this triangle because I found that point. Boom, there. And there. So essentially I've just uh, inscribed this triangular solid uh, inside a rectangular solid. Um, so just to make sure that you understand this, I'm going to put the, put the pen down and uh, 
actually uh, highlight the, uh, the top in pencil. Right? So you see the top, see the bottom here? Okay. So that should that should make a lot of sense. Um, you know, here's one side of it, boom. There's the receding side, normal plane. So that's how you begin to project solids, and you can use you know any shape. You can use hexagons, octagons, whatever, um, and just remember you're you're just putting it within uh, within a uh, rectangle, and anything you come up with uh, is uh, pretty easy to do once you can once you can uh, think through it like that.